But Is It Jazz session, we welcome the Paris-based Florian Pellissier Quintet, featuring Shola Adissa Farah. The concert took place at the legendary Nita Jazz Club. I was on Tinder. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I would never be on Tinder and I would not I swipe, swipe. I swiped her. I, swiped I her. would not swipe whatever the way it is for him. <laughs> I swiped her off. I'm from California and I've lived in New York and now I'm in Paris. And it is a very welcoming place for different types of music. And what I found even more so maybe than New York is that because of the close proximity to certain African countries that there really is a mix of different genres. And that's something that I think is exciting um, as someone who has different backgrounds. My, I'm Jamaican American and so I always want to bring that in and obviously my lineage comes from Africa somewhere and so I feel like Paris is a place where it's okay and it's possible to mix all of these different um, inspirations that you might have musically and get closer to them. Because of this weird history in Europe, France has a really strong link with uh, Africa and Paris is, uh, is also uh, a land of uh, a lot of people from Africa, so there's a lot of music from and mix from African music and African grooves. Paris, yeah, welcome everybody from Charlie Parker to John Coltrane. And then obviously in the 50s uh, with the Horace Silver, I think he played actually here. That's what I heard, I don't know. So I'm scared. I'm scared to play tonight on the same piano than Horace Silver. We actually lived close to, to each other at that time, and so we started off having jam sessions, just he and I, in his studio, uh, where we also recorded the album. And so we would get together, like we'd block amount of time, I don't know, three or four hours, and like just play. So he would play something on the piano, then I might have an idea, and then we would record it, and then we'd come back. Or I might have something that I wrote and be like, okay, can you fix it? Can you figure out a way to organize it better? Um, and so we just continued like that for months and months until we felt like we had something that was strong and something that felt like a sound that was uniquely ours. Um, and so that's how our original songs came to be. I want to do something like an album for her, and maybe it would be great to mix the sound of the quintet with uh, with her voice, so I said, okay, it's worth the try. But I didn't I didn't want to mix really the same band, so I, I just I just switched bass and drums from from the, the original quintet, and I I took some a little bit younger guys, a little bit more hip hop to 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 fit more with uh, because Shola Shola is is young and she's she's a, she's like a woman of her of her time. <laughs> Jazz. Our music. Uh, jazz yeah. remix. No, no, it's a way. Yeah, I mean, today jazz is a big, big yes. word. Word, uh, but uh, I don't know. It's uh, for me. 
it's it's a it's a complex question. I don't know if you're aware, but there is this discussion in the in the U.S. about uh, BAM, you know, Black American music, and the way the way jazz uh, flowing to the world. I come from another gener generation, you know. I know what what my continent and what my countries uh, did in the past. I know the uh, I know the the heaviness of the of of the, the the history so i don't think i have the right to to play to play jazz but uh, but i can try to do something with with this music because i'm conscious and i feel responsible and, and when i touch it i i'm yeah more than res respectful <laughs> Yeah. Hey. 